It's Faith Talk Live. I'm Dan Ratcliffe. Rick Probst is uh, is out right now, but I am so, so excited to be talking with Neil, the uh, Neil Harmon, the uh, CEO of Vid Angel. Neil, how are you doing? Great, Dan. Thanks for having me on. We really appreciate you taking the time for being on with us. Uh, this all came about, uh, a good friend of mine sent me uh, the a link for the app for The Chosen. And I had, I had no idea what it was when he sent it to me. He said, you'll thank me later. Trust me. And this, this guy is a, a youth pastor, a good friend of mine. And, um, and so I was like, well, okay, whatever. So I click on the chosen, check it out. And I, and I had seen some of the ads on Facebook for the chosen, the, the show. And I thought, well, okay, I'll check this out. And I, I was telling Neil before we started here, I got absolutely addicted. I blew through all eight episodes that are currently on season one on the chosen. Uh, my family and I just absolutely loved it. So Neil, tell us how the chosen all came about. I know Vid Angel has been around for a little while and you guys have lots of products. Uh, so tell us uh, how this all came about. You bet, Dan. So uh, Vid Angel helps you make entertainment good for your home. That's, that's the reason we exist. And uh, we've been around since 2013. So we're on our seventh, you know, we're at seven years. Mm -hmm. And um, we started making it so people could skip over stuff that they found objectionable in popular movies and TV shows. But we did it with the idea in our minds, if we can collect a group of people who are interested in watching great stories, but they don't want everything in their home that the current media is dishing out. Mm -hmm. That's a group of people that we can also publish content to content uh, uh, that we do. Yeah. And so that was our goal and, and dream. And um, the chosen is our very first dramatic series. Um, and it, uh, as you, as you explained, um, deals with those people who Christ touched. And, yeah. and their backstories. And, um, and so the way that it came about is we, when we were starting to get into our own original content, we have a series called Dry Bar Comedy. And a friend of ours, Matthew Faraci, reached out and said, hey, you've got to meet this director, Dallas Jenkins. Mm -hmm. And you need to watch a little 20-minute short film that he did on his farm in, in was it in Ohio? And anyway, he did this little short film on a farm. And we watched this. And Dan, we had that moment where we said, this is special. Yeah. And I want to see more, just like you did. <laughs> yeah. Except there was only one then. And so, we, <laughs> so, so we said that we want we wanted to help this guy create what his vision is. And, um, and we had, so VidAngel has a long history and some, some audience might know it and some might not. But we've ruffled a few feathers in our day and we were sued by Disney for doing so. Oh no. Uh, they don't like, uh, they don't like VidAngel. And, um, and that's been a long embroiled lawsuit, but what, uh, what we did right as soon as we were sued is our customers said, we want you to exist. Yeah. We want you to fight the man. We want you to fight Goliath and fight for our rights as families to skip over this stuff and content. And we said, well, it will let you invest in our company and then we will be able to fund the fight. We need $5 million. And in five days, our customers raised $10 million for us. Wow. wow. And my brother, my brother, Daniel reached out to me and he said, you know what, Neil, I mean, if we, if we succeed as a company, this same model of crowdfunding is the model for, for, don't you think this could be the model for media? And I said, that's a really great idea. So after we got a, along the lawsuit, we could see that we were going to survive. We, um, we decided to do this crowdfunding campaign for The Chosen and 19,000 people invested over $10 million to make wow. The Chosen. Wow. That is so amazing and cool because normally, you know, when, when you think of uh, shows like this, especially the production quality that goes that has gone into the chosen is obvious. Uh, those are not cheap. I mean, we're talking about multi-million dollar movies and shows, and, and you were able to raise that because people out there said we want good quality content. Yes, absolutely. When and not only did they step up and give us ten million dollars, which sounds like a lot of money. Right. But Game of Thrones and uh, some of these other shows that these guys, they spend $10 million an episode. Right. So yeah. Dallas has done a terrific job 
you know, shepherding the, the widow's might, so to speak, the people who have put up their money, their hard-earned money to make this. And he's made these episodes feel like what it would cost Hollywood $5 million to do for, you know, a million and change. Yes. So um, he's done a terrific job. He has. And, uh, and I just I have to brag on Dallas that uh, the, these episodes, they draw you in so much. And, and the, the biblical content is there. It's uh, biblically, uh, as far as I've seen, biblically accurate. And, but the way he weaves the story and kind of fills in some of the gaps that you, that you don't normally think about as you're reading through the Bible, it really brings the story to life and, and gives these people like, like Peter, I find myself sometimes being mad at Peter and sometimes <laughs> just saying, that's me. I'm uh, that's me as well. Uh, just the way he tells the story through these guys. I l absolutely love it. Well, and when I watched it, I said to myself a couple of times, I'm like, that's not in the New Testament. And I'd go back and look for it. And sure it enough, was there. It was there. Yeah. I had forgotten about it. It was a totally new perspective. So I've been amazed. Now, granted, the audience should know there are, there's creative license. That's right. how, that's how right. this comes to life for us in our time. There's creative license. But I've been shocked how many times I've gone back to the New Testament and said, that was creative license, but it wasn't. It was actually there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and even just watching Jesus in one of the episodes where he's, he's really involved with the kids and he's trying to, uh, to get these two kids to come out from hiding and he's making noises. And I turned to my daughter and said, Jesus makes fart noises. And I love that because that, <laughs> that makes me Christ-like. <laughs> But he he gives he gives the characters so much life. He does such a great job. I, I absolutely love it. Uh, so season one is available. Tell folks how they can see season one if they haven't uh, discovered The Chosen yet. So there's two ways you can watch The Chosen right now. You can go download the VidAngel app. And we're offering the VidAngel app for free if you agree to practice social distancing and give bug bigger hugs when this is all over. <laughs> no credit card. No credit card. You can use it while you're stuck in your home. You it. can also download the Chosen app itself from the, from the app stores. And so use either app. You can watch it for free. Enjoy it. And, and we appreciate your support. Yeah, and also on the, the VidAngel app is, as you mentioned, the Dry Bar Comedy, which on our show, we have several comedians who have been featured on there, like Bone Hampton, uh, um, I'm trying to think, K-Dodd, lots, lots of folks who have been on Dry Bar Comedy. There's some great stuff on there. Tell us real quick about Dry Bar Comedy. Yeah, so Dry Bar, the idea behind it was is that if you take funny comedians and you have them perform a safe, clean show, that you'll have a bigger market. Because some people don't like stand-up simply because it's not approachable for them. It's too, too edgy, too crass, um, too blue is what they call it. Right. So we right. said, hey, we're going to give bonuses to the comedians if they're not skipped as much on the VidAngel app. So the comedians, they come in and they perform and they know we give them a list of what everyone's skipping on the VidAngel app. And we say, you can perform whatever you want, but you know here what, you're, what, what they're going to skip. And so they bend over backwards to do a really funny routine, but to do it more family oriented. Right. And our initial premise has proven to be true. We get more views on drive our comedy digitally than comedy central Stand Up gets in a year. Wow. In one week. Wow. And, and so we get over a billion views a year on dry bar and, and it's been a phenomenal success. We've, we've loved it. We've loved all the comedians that have worked with us on it. So. Yeah, some great Thanks comedians, for... some funny, funny stuff. All right, real quick, before we have to uh, go to a break, tell us, folks, how they can help make The Chosen Season 2 happen because I need it to happen, and I need it to happen quickly because I'm ready, <laughs> I'm ready to continue the story here. How can folks help make that happen? Go to thechosen.tv forward slash pay it forward, all one word, pay it forward, and that allows you to pay – whatever you can afford to help other people around the world watch it for free and to help fund season two. And we're well on our way to doing so. And we're planning on shooting hopefully this summer, if this COVID thing can go can away. That would be yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good. Hopefully we'll make it happen. And if you haven't watched The Chosen yet, be sure and check it out. Folks who are watching it who, who don't know Christ, are, are coming to know Christ for the first time in a new way, which is so cool as well. So check it out on VidAngel. Neil, thank you so much for taking some time to, uh, to hang out with us. And we are, 
at least I am so looking forward to the season, uh, to the chosen season two. Me too, Dan. Appreciate your time. That is uh, Neil Harmon, the CEO of VidAngel. And uh, the website again, VidAngel, is at VidAngel.com? VidAngel.com. VidAngel.com or search for the app on the Apple or Google Play stores. All right, Neil, thank you so much for joining us. It's Faith Talk Live. I'm Dan Ratcliffe. We'll be right back. Thanks for joining us. (music) 